ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನಿರತ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಓಂ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದಯ ವಿಶ್ವತ್ಪತ್ತಿಹೇತವೆ ತಾಪತ್ರಯ ವಿನಾಶಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ವಯ ನುಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ವಯ ನುಮಃ ಸುವಿಸ the objects enter into the mind mind enter into the objects but both are upadhis of the jeeva see jeevasya deha ubhayam gunas cheto and who is the jeevasya jeevasya madatmanaha so this mind and the sense objects become upadhi upa samipe we saw that no yesterday what is the example we saw red flower hibiscus flower so without bringing any intrinsic change in the crystal it makes the crystal appear as red so similarly jeeva essentially of the nature of paramatma jeevasya madatmanaha but this jeeva does not identify with maha paramatma because of the influence of the proximity of the mind and the sense objects which becomes upadhi like hibiscus flower in crystal here in the place of flower mind and the sense objects this is the crystal and here it is atman jeeva he so he is colored by it what is the nature of jeeva essentially paramatma so now this is what bhagwan krishna told us so now what what happens now visa what is to be done it matva na sajjate visa the wise man does not get attached to this entire upadhi so taking this thought further ಗುಣೇಶು ಚಾಶಚಿತ್ತ ಅಭಿಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಗುಣಸೇವಯ ಗುಣಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಭವ ಮದ್ರೂಪ ಉಭಯ ತ್ಯಜೇತ ಗುಣೇಶು ಚಾಶಚಿತ್ತ ಅಭಿಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಗುಣಸೇವಯ ಗುಣಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಭವ ಮದ್ರೂಪಂ ಉಭಯ ತ್ಯಜೇತ ಗುಣೇಶು ಚ ಆವಿಷಿತ್ ಆವಿಷಿತ್ ಪ್ರವಿಷಿತ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಸೊ ಅವಿಷತ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ದಟ್ ಗುಣ ಗುಣೇಶು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅವಿಷತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ so chittam is occupied by the objects guneshu cha avishat chittam abikshnam guna sevaya abikshnam means you know non stop repetition anukshanam abikshnam abikshnam guna sevaya 
बिकॉज ऑफ कॉन्स्टंट थिंकिंग अबाउट वॉट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स गुण सेवया अभिक्षण गुण सेवया बिकॉज ऑफ कॉन्स्टंटली थिंकिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स राइट वॉट आर हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द बोथ दिस यू नो गुणेशु च आविश चित्त द चित्त इज एंट्रिंग इन टू द ऑब्जेक्ट्स Why? Why chitta mind is going into the objects? Because we are constantly thinking about the objects. So mind is going into the objects. Now gunascha chitta prabhava ha. Now these objects are also born out of where chitta prabhava ha came, emerged, rise from the mind only. So objects came from the born from the mind. and mind is again going towards the objects so that means what made for each other jaise actually now let us analyze now where is this mind actually what is mind first we should understand what is objects made up of so if you study mind is made up of what samashti tanmatras vich tanmatra आकाश वायु अग्नि जल पृथ्वी विच एस्पेक्ट ऑफ तन्मात्र सात्विक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ तन्मात्र फ्रॉम द सत्वगुण एस्पेक्ट ऑफ तन्मात्र माइंड इज मेड अप ऑफ सात्विक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ तन्मात्र फ्रॉम राजसिक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ तन्मात्र दि कर्मेन्द्रिया सर्प सो देर फोर वेन यू सी रियली स्पीकिंग वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर See, it says Guneshu cha avishat chittam abhiksham guna sevaya. So therefore, what samasti sattvic aspect of tanmatras create what antakkaranam? So antakkaranam is born out of samasti sattvic amshat tanmatrat antakkaranam is created. Are you getting my point or not? because tanmatra means what not panchi kurta tanmatra is pure form unadulterated form of five elements which we cannot see it so from that uh, sattvic aspect of it samashti sattvic aspect therefore mind has got the capacity to work through gnanendriyas and get the knowledge because sattva guna pradhana main made up of sattva sattvic aspects of the pancha mahabhutas tanmatras the mind is created so therefore means what now now therefore what these tanmatras become the cause of the mind is it not because mind came from the tanmatras so what is the cause karanam of tanmatma mind tanmatras okay and the objects are born out of what mind thought so the thoughts so therefore from the these samasti tamoguna aspect of tanmatras objects are objective world is created but the objective world is objects exist in our mind because of the thought so thought is a cause of the vastu if there is no thought no object there is a thought particular object particular object is there so thought is a cause of the object and the mind is nothing but effect of the tanmatras therefore what thoughts give existence to the objects because objects have come from the thought means what like mud lends existence to the pot gold lends existence to the ornament thoughts lend existence to the object therefore this vastu asti 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 is this there this there therefore what so mind or the cause of the objects and mind is the effect of the tanmatras so if you really see about it what is happening is that both are entering into each other so mind entered into the objects and objects actually is the effect of the mind so when you really see what is happening is these two always coexist when the mind is there jagat is there when the mind is not there jagat is not there can you have 
a mind without the jagat no try when you see objectivity from the mind if it is removed it is no more mind so when we wake up early morning so mind rises means jagat is there and jagat is there means mind is there so oh, jagat is seen then your mind is there the mind is not there you cannot see the jagat mind is there means jagat is there jagat is there means mind is there that means what that means mind and objects are interdependent if you say all the objects of the mind is removed then it is no more mind it is pure consciousness kya confuse kar rahe hain kya mai kuch confuse nahi karta hu ab dekhiye what is mind flow of thoughts flow of thoughts what is the thought thought is equal to object plus consciousness when you say a thought when the question is thought of what thought of this water glass steel glass which is the thought of glass okay in that thought of glass can that thought exist without consciousness without consciousness illumining the glass can the glass exist so in the thought of the object of the thought of the glass or any object both the object is there and the consciousness which is illumining the object capped by the consciousness both exist so every vastu is capped by the consciousness focusing consciousness so murtivya mind goes out takes the shape and along with the kachidabas also flowing consciousness and that illumines the object so the mind takes the shape of the vritti aka vritti takes the shape of the object illumined by consciousness both together so therefore in the thought there is a consciousness aspect of the thought and object aspect of the thought both together exist so thought is equal to object plus consciousness because when there is no consciousness there cannot be a thought why who can certify the existence of the thought thought is there who can certify the consciousness has to be there if consciousness is not required then the mic will certify the existence of the table and table can certify the existence of the mic they both each other talk and they decide when swami is coming we won't be there so they run away they decide so the mic doesn't know the table the table doesn't know the mic both are jada padarthas insentient matter cannot know so consciousness alone can know the vastu therefore thought is equal to object plus consciousness now from the thought uh, the content the content is what vastu object the shape of the object if that vastu is removed from the thought then what remains is only consciousness thought is equal to object plus consciousness thought minus object is equal to consciousness object yahan pe law mathematics equation thought minus object is equal to consciousness what is thought we see we just know sir object plus consciousness then what is mind flow of thoughts so that means what so what is mind then consciousness is there with full of many thoughts in each thought there is a consciousness so the mind is broken into as if broken into itself into many as if as if because to every thought that consciousness is illumining so multiple thoughts anyway if we going i will not go in depth into it because no thoughts are 
simultaneous or one by any shastra, so much analysis is there. So, don't forget about it. The thoughts are there. Now, so that means what? In every thought, there is an object plus consciousness. All objects, mind is flow of thoughts. So, from all, so 100 thoughts are there in the mind. Suppose my mind is made up of 100 thoughts. Meaning, 100 thoughts carrying 100 objects. So, 100 objects are removed from the mind. What remains? Consciousness. There is no mind. Why? I have defined mind as flow of thoughts. When it defined mind as flow of thoughts, and thought is equal to object, because thought of what? The object is there. So when all the th pool of thoughts, objectivity is removed from the total mind, what remains is no mind. Then what remains? Is pure consciousness. Think. Therefore, uh, as long as the mind is existing, objects are existing. As long as the objects are there, mind is existing. Because very existence of the object is certified by the mind. Therefore, these two are interdependent. So you cannot remove one from the other. If you remove all the objects from the mind, there is no mind. If you remove all water from the river, there is no river. What is the river? Flow of waters. I will take out, I want the water to be removed from the river. Oh, river minus water. Buddhu, it is not a, no, no more a river. If I take out all water from the river, huh, no river. There is only river bed. From all thoughts in the mind are removed, there is no mind. That means what? These two together exist. Therefore, Bhagavan Krishna says, Guneshu cha avishat chittam. Why? Chittam is entering into Guneshu objects because avikshnam guna sevaya. Because of constantly repeated thinking of the objects, the mind is entering into. And gunas cha chitta prabhavaha. Therefore, these objects are made up, born out of chitta prabhavaha. And therefore, you cannot renounce one, keeping it one, keep doing the other. Oh, I will give up the mind, let the object be there. Huh? Give up the mind? How the object exists? Oh, mind is absent in deep sleep state. Where is Jagat then? I will take the mind out. Let the, I will separate the mind from the objects. Huh? Then I can see mind and separately objects. Oh, you cannot. Why? When the mind is taken out, there is no Jagat. When the mind is withdrawn in deep sleep state, where are objects? No objects. Or when objects are removed from the mind, where is the mind? No mind. Yeah, tak samaj mein aaya ki ne bata pehle. So which objects include everything? Thoughts, feelings, emotions. Oh, toh hai na. If toh when I said thought, arey bhaiya. See, very one thing. I already told you. Emotion is a thought only, no? Feeling is a thought only, no? So all thoughts only. You name one emotion, feeling, depression, suppression, whatever name you name. But thought means what? A content of the thought. When I say thought, I got a feeling. Feeling of what? I got a thought. Thought of what? So some vastu. What is the vishaya of the thought vritti? Vishaya vritti. Some vritti, vishaya is there. Now, therefore, that not thought is formed. Thought is a mixture. Now, therefore, now the question is, huh, they can't exist independently. If I take the mind completely out of the jagat, withdraw the mind, then there is no world. How, when it will happen? When I withdraw my mind into deep sleep state or in samadhi, no jagat. Okay, so from the objects, mind separated, no vajagat. Okay, I will do ulta, other way. What? From the mind, I will remove the object, no mind.
So why struggle? Got the point? Should I repeat again? Moo se bolo, yes or no? Samay aage? Moo se to bolo, aap hai hi samaj mein chale gaya kya? Aapka man hai yaha pe? हाँ जी एक क्या माँ द दो चीजें हैं अब सुनिए एक मन है क्वेश्चन क्या था मन इज एंटरिंग इनटू द ऑब्जेक्ट्स विषय वस्तुओं के अंदर घुस रहा है और विषय वस्तु मन में घुस रहा है उन दोनों को अलग ऐसे करें मन को ये प्रश्न था ना अब यहाँ तक पहुँच गया कि जब ये दोनों साथ साथ ही रहता है इन दोनों को अलग करना संभव नहीं है ऐसे क्यों अब उसका उदाहरण दे रहे हैं यदि आप कहोगे कि मैं सारे मन से वृत्तियों को ऑब्जेक्ट्स वृत्ति माने थॉट ऑब्जेक्ट्स है ना थॉट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ना सारे वस्तुओं को विषय वस्तुओं को मन से हटा देता हूँ तो हटा देने पर वहाँ पे मन करके कोई चीज़ नहीं होता क्यों मन का मतलब ही वृत्ति का प्रवाह वृत्ति माने एक प्रत्येक वृत्ति में एक वस्तु विषय वस्तु छुपी है प्रत्येक वृत्ति में तद वृत्ति उस उस वृत्ति का एक विषय वस्तु छुपी है तो उस विषय वस्तु को यदि हटा दिया जाए और बाकी रह गया मन तो नहीं रहेगा क्योंकि मन क्या है वृत्तियों का लगातार फ्लो परंपरा वृत्ति परंपरा नदी स्रोतवत तब मन बनता है जैसे पानी बह रहा है तब नदी बनती है पानी बहना बल्क बिल्कुल पानी हटा दिया जाए वहाँ पे नदी रूपी कोई नहीं होता तो फिर कहाँ रहता है नदी उस नदी रूपी का जो आधार था वो दिखता है इसलिए मन से सारे वस्तुओं को हटा दिया जाए तो मन वहाँ नहीं रहेगा वहाँ रहेगा शुद्ध चैतन्य ही रहेगा जिसको मन नहीं कह सकते हैं क्यों मन माने वृत्तियों का प्रसारण तो मन से वस्तुओं को हटाना मुश्किल है हटाने से मन ही नहीं रहेगा ठीक है अच्छा मन से अभी वस्तुओं से मन को हटाएंगे दुनियादारी कहीं वस्तुएं हैं चलो ठीक है मन से उस विषय वस्तुओं को हटाने से मन नहीं रहेगा समझ में आ गया अब क्या करेंगे हाँ मन तो घुस गया विषय वस्तुओं में चिंतन के द्वारा सो so, चिंतन के कारण विषय वस्तुओं के चिंतन के कारण मन का प्रवेश विषय वस्तुओं में हुआ था तो विषय वस्तुओं से मैं मन को बाहर ले लेता हूँ मन से विषय वस्तुओं को बाहर लेने से क्या हुआ मन नहीं रहता है उल्टा करूँगा अब विषय वस्तुओं से मन को हटा देंगे भैया विषय वस्तुओं को यदि मन हटा दिया हटा दिया माने कहाँ जाओगे या तो समाधि में जाओगे या निद्रावस्था में जाओगे दोनों अवस्था में दुनिया ही नहीं रहेगी आपके सामने आपके अनुभवों में कोई वस्तु नहीं रहेगा इसका मतलब क्या है दोनों साथ साथ है आप दोनों अलग क्या से करें भगवान कहते हैं दोनों अलग नहीं कर सकते वो जब एक है तो दूसरा होता ही है अब क्या करें अब भगवान कृष्ण कहते सो गुना मत ध्रुव भैया तो क्या है मुझ में बैठो और दोनों को त्याग दो अब क्या करना है अपने स्वरूप में बैठकर इन दोनों को त्यागना है इन एक को त्यागा अलग कर दिया अरे अलग नहीं कर सकता है ये चक्कर मत पड़ो फिर क्या करें हम ऐसे साधना करें कि मैं अपने आप में स्थित होने का अभ्यास करें मैं अपने आप में बैठ गया हूं बैठने से ये दोनों को त्यागना त्यागना हो जाता है त्यागा जाता है मन और विषय वस्तु देर फोर बाई रिमेनिंग इन आवर ओन सेल्फ 
we can transcend both. Mm. I want good, not bad. Are bhaiya, ha. Only with respect to bad, you are calling something as good, na? Ha? Yeah. I want only good. When you say the good, you are already accept, accepting the existence of bad. Na to, so good, good, kaise 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 Only good is there, then will you call it as a good? Dunia mein only good is there. Then it is, cannot be called as a good. Why? Good is the word only with respect to bad. A bad nahi hai, to isko good bhi nahi sakte hai. So when you say good, bad is already existing. When you say bad, good is existing. Dono saath saath hai. I want only good, I don't want bad. When good ko maan liya, to bad ko bhi maan na padega. Ho gaye baat? To Bhagawan Krishna kehte hai, dono ko tiyagne ka tarika kya hai? Apne aap mein baiti jau. Dono ko tiyago. Achha. So, we should determine our own nature and establish in our own self and higher self. I am not this, that is not. 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 It is not. So, what do we have to do? We have to sit in our own self. We have to do हम गाड़ी भी लेना है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होना है गाड़ी लिया माने प्रॉब्लम होता ही होता है घर बना लिया कोई घर बना लिया माने यू आर इनोवेटिंग ट्रबल्स आल्सो अलोंग विथ इट टेल मी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव होन हाउसेस आर यू फुल्ली हैप्पी विथ योर हाउस यहाँ पे लीक हो रहा है वहाँ पे क्रैक हो रहा है यहाँ पे बाथरूम सुधारना है और ऊपर बाजू वाला हथौड़े लेके मार रहा है ऊपर वाला काली नहीं करता बाजू वाला बहुत सताता है तो काली कर दो आप ये भाई क्यों करो ये मेरा घर है तो तो फिर क्या भेज दो नहीं भेजो क्या है फैसला नहीं मिलता है तो फिर रो मत फिर कैसे रोए भी रह सकते हैं तो रोए रहेंगे हम रोना फिर हक के रोना तो जन्म का हक है तो रोएंगे हम तो दुखी होंगे हम तो दुखी तो फिर फिर कंप्लेंट मत करो क्यों कंप्लेंट नहीं करे आपने मेरा जीवन है मैं कंप्लेंट करूंगी मेरा जीवन है मैं दुखी हूं आप तो दुखी तो फिर ये ये है मामला तो दुख को त्याग दो कैसे त्याग दो क्यों छोड़ू आपको मालूम है क्या आप तो सन्यासी ऐसे बोल दिए आपको कुछ है ही नहीं आपका इसीलिए ना I have decided, I have, I have learnt a big lesson I mean, over a period of time. Don't give any suggestion. Sabko sunta rehna hai. Sunta rehna hai. Swamiji, ghar bahut problem ho raha hai. Achha, I understand. I can understand. Yes, yes. Jawaab salah mat dena. Salah diya, charcha bad jati hai. Oh, I see. Okay, amma. Abhi saada bahira ho gaya, kana ke lao gaya. What the, whatever you say, you are not happy, na? You, moreover, ha, amar sab ki ek problem hai. We are sympathy seekers. Achcha lagta hai. Bimar pad jaye, sab log aake dekhe. Ha hai, kaise ho, apple diya, koi santra diya, achcha lagta hai. Bed pe bed ke. Ek jog bolta hoon. Koi ek koma ma chala gaya. बिचारा पत्नी बच्चे सारे बैठ के सेवा कर रहे थे कर रहे सेवा कर रहे थे तब क्या हुआ छह महीने के बाद आंख खोला जो 
कोमो में जाए ना गया था गया, गया जाता है ना उसको नहीं बोला मैं कोमा हूँ मैं कहाँ था अरे पापा मुझे पहचानते हो हाँ पहचान लिया पत्नी में मुझे पहचान था हाँ पहचान लिया सबको पहचान बहुत अच्छी बात है भैया स्मृति भी आ गई आप अच्छा है भगवान की दया से आप वापस आ गए दुनिया में चलो खड़े हो सब लोग बेचारे सर सबको देखा सब पहचान लिया मैं कहाँ हूँ अरे पापा आप कुंभ में चले गए थे छः महीने से छः महीने में कुंभ में था हाँ अच्छा ये बताओ छः महीने में मुझे देखने के लिए कौन कौन आया है अभी क्या फर्क पड़ता है ये तो कुंभ में था क्या फर्क पड़ता है पूछा है कौन कौन आया तो ये लोग आए कोई क्यों पूछते क्यों ऐसा क्या फर्क पड़ता है बोलते हैं हाँ जो जो आया उनका लिस्ट देना उनमें से कोई कोमा में चला जाता है ना जब मैं जाके देखता हूँ जो नहीं आया जो वो चले जाते हैं कोमा में मैं नहीं जाऊँगा देखने क्या कैलकुलेशन है दुनिया में ऑन दिस कैलकुलेशन वी लिव जब उनका घर गया था वहाँ पे चाय पिलाया जब वो आएंगे तो हम भी चाय पिलाएंगे तो पानी भी नहीं पानी तक नहीं पिला मैं क्यों पिलाऊँ चीप एंटाइल सो एक है तो दूसरा है दोनों को त्यागना है अपने आप में बैठो कैसे बैठे सो so, अपना स्वरूप को जानना है कैसे जाने जागृत स्वप्न सुषुप्तम च गुण तो बुद्धिवृत्त तासाम विलक्षणो जीव साक्षित्वेन जागृत स्वप्न सुषुप्त गुण तो बुद्धिवृत्त तासाम विलक्षणो जीव साक्षित्वेन ना अब देखिए नौ दि स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग If you want to study, Gurudev says so. But the both those books are out of print now. Some of the books of Gurudev's very beautiful things. Three volumes were there. No, no, they are not there. There are a collection of many, many things, but they are not print. The so many years they are out of print. In that book, you know, same thought analyzed, but you no. Know, if you want to analyze life. Oh, I want to analyze what is human life. Then I can understand about human being. So, वहाँ पे गुरुदेव कहते हैं, if you really want to understand human life, we have to study all the three states of human experience, not only waking experience. जागृत अवस्था के बारे में भी जानो स्वप्न अवस्था के बारे में जानो निद्रा मैंने ये सारे अवस्था में मैं हूँ तो मुझे क्या हो रहा है सो पूर्णतः यदि आपको मनुष्य का ज्ञान मनुष्य के जीवन का ज्ञान यदि चाहते हो तो हम सबको इन तीनों अवस्थाओं के बारे में जानकारी प्राप्त करना आवश्यक है केवल जागृत अवस्थाओं का के अनुभवों को ही विश्लेषण करके जीवन का मतलब उससे समझे ऐसा नहीं होगा क्योंकि मैं ही कुछ समय जागृत अवस्था में हूँ मैं ही कुछ समय स्वप्न अवस्था में हूँ मैं ही कुछ समय निद्रावस्था में सुषिप्त अवस्था में हूँ सो so, जागृत मैंने जब पूरा मन जगा हुआ है जागृत है आधा मन जगा हुआ है स्वप्न है पूरा मन सोया है तो सुषुप्ति है अब भगवान कहते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट वी शुड डू वी शुड डिटरमिन व्हाट इज आवर नेचर मेरा अपना स्वरूप क्या है पहले डिटरमिन करो ऑन ए पेपर लॉजिकली डिटरमिन करने के बाद फर्मली कन्विंस्ड क्लैरिटी ट्रमेंडस क्लैरिटी then i can practice meditation etc to abide in it so without the 
analysis of all these three states of consciousness i cannot abide in the truth or in myself therefore shastra chintan is absolutely necessary now jagrat sapna susuptam cha gunatah buddhi vrittayah no gunata me they arise from gunas jagrat avastha sapna avastha susupti avastha arise from the gunas this gunas play buddhi vrittayah gunato buddhi vrittayah so these all these the thoughts of the mind buddhi vrittayah gunatah rise from the gunas the thoughts in the intellect or mind rise from these three gunas and they cause jagrat avastha sapna avastha and nidra avastha other what these three avasthas are nothing but the thoughts of the mind at one when the see uh, uh, what you call when ahankara is fully awake jagrat avastha half awake sapna avastha completely slept nidra avastha this is so much of analysis about these three states my god in our shastras so much of depth so now these these thoughts first of all i must understand there are three states and these states exist jagrat avastha hai sapna avastha hai nidra avastha hai kyon hai kyunki mai hu यदि मैं ही नहीं हूं यह अवस्था है कहां से होगी फर्स्ट पॉइंट बिकॉज हु इज सर्टिफाइंग द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस थ्री स्टेट्स मी सो आई एम सर्टिफाइंग द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस थ्री स्टेट्स नंबर वन एंड these states are constantly changing sometimes jagrat avastha sometimes nidra avastha sometimes sushupti avastha constantly like in burudhar upanishad it is compared with a fish going from one bank to other bank mahamatsya yatha mahamatsyo one bank is called waking state another bank is called dream state another bank is called deep sleep and this fish goes on continuously travels who is ahankara rupi matsya jeeva constantly swimming from one state to other state ravana maharshi and all they have established in that highest dimension so this this they are only illumining these three states okay not only they illumine their states they become sarvagnya sarvavit also some sarva sarvagnya the ishvara like the sarvagnyatva one day ramana maharshi was seeing some brahmana before this rakhi purnima in south way they have to wear janev so janev banata hai जनेव बना के बेचता था सो फेस्टिवल टाइम मीन्स द पूर्व ब्राह्मण मेक्स लॉट ऑफ जनेव एंड थक गया बनाते बेचना है कुछ पैसा मिलता है बना के बनाते बनाते थक के कहीं एक पेड़ के नीचे सो गया दैट टाइम रवण महर्षि विद डिसाइपल्स गोइंग अराउंड अरुणाचल प्रदक्षिणा गृह प्रदक्षिणा भगवान जस्ट टूड and the next to the that when he was sleeping he was standing there dekha raste mein bhagwan was telling others see he is dreaming that this purnima is coming i have to sell so many janevs mera kuch milega with that dream he actually is dreaming all those things in sapna also that means he not only he saw him sleeping but he also saw him what he is dreaming that means this consciousness of ramana maharshi 
became one with his consciousness also therefore he is able to illumine antakarana of other person also similarly in in um, brudar upanishad yagna valkya janaka announces the thousand cows with all um, uh, decorated uh, horn decorated with gold and then all that who your brahma gnani take it this is nobody came forward who can claim i am brahma gnani yagna valkya started chalo shishu bola ले जाओ अपने आश्रम में थाउजेंड काउस एवरीबडी स्टार्ट प्रोटेस्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रूव दैट यूर ब्रह्म ज्ञानी देन यू विल गो सभा देन इज इट नो नो आई एम नेवर सेड आई एम ब्रह्म ज्ञानी नो बडी इज विलिंग टू टेक आई नीड काउस फॉर आश्रम तो मैं लेके जा रहा हूँ वहाँ पे गार्गी ऑल दो बिग बिग महापंडित सर देर दे स्टार्ट ड्रिलिंग हिम यज्ञवाल कर ऋषि एंड यू वॉज गिविंग आंसर्स then once somebody said oh brahma gnani should be sarvagnyatva have you achieved sarvagnya if they were attained sarvagnyatva then we will ask we'll say one thing ha huh. in our village some people went to see how that man the other man said in our village some of the friends went to some place and there they met a gandharva and that they asked some questions and gandharva replied it seems and thus what question they asked what reply gandharva gave he my friend doesn't didn't tell me but he said they all went there they asked questions to gandharva gandharva answered those questions you tell me what they asked gandharva and what gandharva gave reply then you will know i can then i can say that you are sarvagnyatva brahma is sarvagnya then i can say you are brahma gnani first answer that he said yakimal ke answered what they asked that gandharva and what gandharva replied he answered can you imagine the consciousness levels so that is ramana maharshi therefore that is brahma sarvagnyatva brahma gnani you are hora brahma ब्रह्मविस्त ब्रह्म ही बहुत ही सर्वज्ञ बहुत ही आंसर यू आंसर आई हैव सीन एन अदर अब होता इन माय लाइफ सो मेनी पीपल वुड गो एंड सेट विथ बिफोर हिम इज अटेंड समाधि दे गो एंड सेट विथ बिफोर हिम एवरी डे ही हैज मॉर्निंग टेन टू ट्वेल्व and 3 to 5 he will sit for 3 3 hours at 9 9 9:30 to 12 and then whatever it is morning to 2 and a half hours in so many people would come all religious people will come muslims will come hindu everybody will come. and he will sit there he just will close his eyes somebody will ask ha mahatma ji hamare gaon mein hamare jo meri yaar bhoomi is there that land is there wahan kahan pani padta hai mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha hai hame paas paisa nahi hai wahan pe mission kar karane ke liye aap bataiye kahan pani batayega bolte acha aapka gaon kahan hai wo gaon mein acha kahan par hai land acha theek hai aankh band karke ha on the right side corner no that the big tree is there no that aam ped aam ped ke baad mein wo kar raha wo kar lo wahan pe pani karega jao bolte adwaiti Not acha me se chichi pe me advaiti. When we go there, he will not talk anything except advaita. He is a scholar. I was established yourself in Brahman. That's it. All is all. Such a love. I have seen him. When <laughs> three, four, our Mahatma, our Brahmacharya, we were Brahmacharya. We all went there to meet him. We have both bar jate hai boy. Anyway, ah, aage, aage. before that before we go to him we were in a small town uh, night we night halted previous night early morning we got and then we were one person took us all very very professor sir is no more so uh, one guest house we stayed there one brahmachari asked ha ah, sir aap pata nahi kya karoge mere ko idli khane ka mann lag raha hai ek one brahmachari asked idli khilao fir aap baad mein khayenge to so, swami ji aap guest house mein aaj idli nahi hai dosa ban raha hai वो तो क्या क्या है मंगा लीजिए सर बाहर से मंगा इडली खाने का इडली खा के स्वामी बस दर्शन करने जाएंगे बस हम गए ही नो सॉल ऑफ अस न्यू दैट वी आर वो सो यू आर सो हैप्पी टू मीट आ जाते हैं चार पांच लोग गए थे ना उनके साथ ही तो सबको वहां पे बैठ 
ah some people wanted morning morning idli then only they want to come here and have darshan hum log hans pade they don't know others don't know what he is referring to whom we are talking to hum char panch log hai na roar and laughter then baad mein masti wo bhi hans rahe keh rahe tum idli aaye so so samajh idli masti that's a sarvagnya another same mahatma another fellow went to him one day another uh, his father somebody's father went he referred my name so like that parche ke liye swam chudrupanand ji we know him and all oh chudrupa are wo to mere sir pe pani dal raha hai abhi that time i was doing abhishek here are wo to pir pir sir pe pani dal raha hai abhi mai kya is that mai i don't pani dal raha sir pe kya something is what is doing bad work or बाद नो नो अभिषेक कर रहा है अभी अभिषेक कर रहा है वो शिवलिंग के पानी डाल रहा है मेरे सिर पे पानी डाल रहा है अमेजिंग महात्मा ये आसान साधना इज नॉट इजी वी आर सिंपली हैप्पी बाय स्टडिंग टू थ्री बुक्स एंड थिंकिंग दैट वी आर वेदांत थिंग्स एंड वी वांडर हां जी जो नहीं पहुंच सकते हैं आपके स्वरूप है तपस्या that man did ha kathor tapasya he did <coughs> so we feel we, we are we, we inspired by this tapasya so kehne ka matlab hai that you are beyond of these three states vilakshanah not only that you you illumine your own three states you are illumine jo jagat ko illumine such such great siddha purushas mahatma janle gurudev kam hai kya oh somebody who came to gurudev once i was there only then swami ji i met you 20 years back gurudev said oh okay, i don't remember now he said no no but i you know i met you 20 years back swami ji we had very good discussion and was insisting him gurudev closed his eyes ah uh, yes you came to me with two kids where are they and what are they doing and he forgot with whom he went so there somebody gave a rudraksha mala me and other friend was mission member only rudraksha mala kharid ke rakha hai haridwar se gurudev aane ke baad gurudev ko sanctify karna hai I was just sitting next to him. Both, both we was he gave, and I'm just sitting next standing. I mean, kneeling down on knees. He just took the mala and just held it, just like this. He did. I mean, he just closed his eyes and just pushed back himself, just ah uh, like that. Old one doesn't matter, but steam is still there. Pakarte bolte hai, old one hai. Doesn't matter, steam is there still. She means that that power is still there. Vibration is still there. We were shocked because वो एक साल एक साल या आठ महीने से रखा है गुरुदेव आने के बाद पेनिंग है करके so this you are विलक्षण and विलक्षण means once you come out of this three three states you are that supreme consciousness. So therefore now the knower of these three states is changeless, isn't it? If he's changing, how can he know? So these three states exist. They exist because I exist. The knower of them is different from them, and the knower there is no change. The knower is vilakshana, separate from these three states, and knower is no change. Other if there is if there is change in knower also, then nobody can. connect the points nobody can claim memory and all so there is there therefore ha huh, here what krishna says is tasyam vilakshano jeevah sakshitvena vinishchitah so by being the very witness as sakshi this is how determined vinishchitah come to a conclusion ascertain your nature 
that you are other than these three states sa jagrata avastha sapna avastha nidra avastha and observe them they come and go they roll on you they go you are just only observing so who am i so practice that abidance in self thus you can give up the mind and objects otherwise don't try to scratch your head ye usme kis gaya us gaya wo vastu man mein ghus gaya dono pareshan kar rahe hai in dono ko hatana hai man se sare vastuon ko hata ke na hai tab man mein shanti milegi acha only when objectification removed then becomes mind becomes peaceful there is no peaceful mind actually absolutely peaceful mind is pure consciousness alone relatively peaceful mind itself we can enjoy so much of joy and bliss so bhagwan says isse lado mat apne aap mein स्थित हो जाओ यर ही संस्कृति बंद हो यम आत्मनो गुण वृत्ति मयि तुर्ये स्थित जहियात चागस्तुण चेत संस्कृति बंधो आत्मनो गुण वृत्ति मयि तुर्ये स्थित जहियागस्तुण चेत वेरी ब्यूटिफुल थिंग नौ सी संस्कृति बंद मीनिंग वाट इज कैंड ऑफ संसार बंद बॉन्डेज संस्कृति बंद अय संस्कृति बंद आत्मन अय संस्कृति बंद गुणवृत्ति मीनिंग दीज ऐक्चुअली बॉन्डेज विद संसार द मैंड गुणवृत्ति दे गिव रईज टू मेनी 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 थॉट्स बॉन्डेज विथ इट सो दे फोर हाँ हाउ द बॉन्डेज प्रोड्यूस्ड संस्कृति बंद अय आत्मन गुणवृत्ति मयि तुर्ये तो जखिया त्याग तुण चेत वेरी ब्यूटिफुल थिंग सो हाउ दिस बंधन एज कम फ्रॉम बंधन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बै द मैंड वाट गुम आत्मन संस्कृति बंद अय संस्कृति बंद आत्मन गुणवृत्ति गुणवृत्ति मीन वाट बॉर्न ऑफ वेरियस् थाट्स बॉर्न फ्रम एरइज फ्रम गिव रईज टू वेरियस् थाट्स this bondage is giving rise to various thoughts think bondage what with the mind because when we identify with the mind samstruti then that bond when when we identify the mind mind produces many many thoughts sparks keep on coming yar hi samstruti band ho yam atmana guna vritti dah therefore mai turiye sthitah jakhya so therefore you yourself abide in turiye sthiti meaning fourth state of consciousness it's called fourth with respect to three but actually it is only state atma sthitah only there no no fourth nothing actually if you say it is fourth then you are giving the status of reality to the other three other three is illusion then why do you call it as fourth from the standpoint of these three which when we are experiencing that is called as fourth state of consciousness otherwise when waking plane dream plane deeply stated they are all only superimposed on me they are rejected and you sit you stay yourself as i in your own self abide this is sadhana this is meditation so what is it just let's sit like that and just be aware that i exist no so i am i am existing i know that i exist so i remain as existence as a witness to the thoughts that's it to oh, 2 minute 5 minute 3 minute jitna ho sakta hai utna pehle <coughs> so tyagah tat guna chetasam 
Therefore, that is called te turiye mai in me, what is called the fourth state, jihyat, I mean, one should give up. Tatyagaha guna chetasam. So, then actually senses and objects, chetasam of the mind. Chetasam of the mind, then gunaha, sense objects. Therefore, this is actually renunciation of the mind and the objects. What? Tatyagaha guna chetasam. Which is the Tyaga? Say, Mai Turiya Sitaha. In Mai, the fourth state, if you abide, that is the meaning of renunciation of mind and the objects together. Don't try to separate. Bhagalpana. Understood? One is a struggle, we struggle. Therefore, Gunaguneshu vartante it matvana sajjate. Ye to chalta rehta hai mind, mind, mind swabhava, not me. Therefore, ah. Therefore, what? Never chant this shloka, you know, puja ke baad, so kuch loog, papo ham papa karmanam, papa atma, papa sambhava, papa, 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 papa. I don't, Shri Nanu chanted that shloka at all. Very good. Achhi baat bach gaya. I am the Amrutha Putra. Therefore, Bhagavan Krishna says, in that fourth stage here, therefore this bondage is actually given by, produced in the mind by giving rise to various thoughts. So mind and thoughts are us. Both are there. You want to renounce both? Yes. How? Abide in me. So by abiding in me alone is called Tyagaha of both Guna Chetasam. Think. So what is the cause of all Jagat? Avidya. Where is Avidya has come from? So Gurudev also asked Tapoonji once. Very famous incident. Swamiji asked, Swamiji, Gurudev, his, his Gurudev is his Guru. He asked Tapoonji, um, Maharajji, Avidya kaha se hai? Tapoonji said, you came here to learn about knowledge or Avidya? Ye <laughs> batao. Why did you come here? To know about ignorance or to know about knowledge? Chup hoge Gurudev. Ye kattar mahatma hai bhaiya. In fact, that reply Gurudev never gave. See, he must have given here and there, but he had given a logical answer to satisfy the intellect. Because that answer is not, um, what do you call, satisfying the so-called think. They think that you are escaping. So, Gurudev answered that question. Where is the ignorance from? Then Gurudev gives a beautiful answer. Yes. Where did ignorance come from? Very good. When you are asking the where and when did this ignorance rise, you are asking the time. And so in the time, where is the ignorance? Unfortunately, time itself is the effect of the cause called avidya. So that F cause which is beyond the effect, you are trying to know that which is beyond time. Time is effect. Avidya is a cause. You are asking within the realms of time the cause of it which is not possible to answer. Because the time itself is the effect of that avidya. So how can you get an answer for that? So when did first ignore? Don't ask this question. Second one, why, uh, are you really, uh, are you not suffering from avidya and avidya karya? Yes, get rid of it. Why inquire into it? Get rid of it. So one Mahatma, he was, his name was Vidya Prakash Anandagiri. He attended Samadhi long back. Gurudev knew him and Gurudev, he knew Gurudev and all. I am great Mahatma. He used to conduct Gita talks and all that. Very nice. Great Mahatma. Very tapasvi. His talks used to be 20 days. First day introduction to Gita, 18 days, 18 chapters and then 20th day conclusion. Three hours talk. 
विथ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ए वाटर ब्रेक फॉर एवरीबडी सो दे गो आउट एंड परचेज क्या चाय व्या पी के बैठ जाते मैदान में बीस पच्चीस हजार लोग बैठ जाते थे उनके सुनने के लिए मैं भी जाता था वन वी आर एंग स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड गो एंड लिजन टू हिम मस्त गीता जट महात्मा गे ब्यूटिफुल थिंग एक्सेलेंट महात्मा दिस वासना सर माया विद्या so why do you want to know what is this first vasana when did it come on that get it off it for the example you would give a father reached home baad mein bura mat manna main example swami ji ka kya the father came home baith gaye kaafi mangaya kaafi patni di thi bacche bhi aaye to theek hai 536 bolwa baith unko laga ki ghar mein kuch kuch mar gaya hai koi chuha mar gaya hoga bahut badbu aa raha hai ghar pura some kind of peculiar bad smell इसे देखो घर में भी आप लोग जाते हैं ये वो चलो ढूंढो कहाँ से आए सर इज थ्री चिल्ड्रन एंड वाइफ यू आर सिटिंग देयर इन चेयर यू आर सर्च फॉर किचन में ढूंढो पलंग के नीचे कोई चूहा मर गया होगा ये बबलू बद कहाँ से बदबू आ रहे हैं चिल्ला रहे थे तो सब लोग दौड़े एंड दैट फाइव सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड फेलो ऑल्सो सर्चिंग डिंग 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 क्या बदबू आ रहा है वो भी दौड़ रहा था इधर उधर ई वेंट द फ्रंट रूम वेरेंडा and overturned the shoe of the father and he found there something the human dung <laughs> he stepped on it usko dikha ke acha idhar se aa raha hai bachcha hai na wo seedha gadaudte daudte a joy of discovery he brought to the nose of the father he was not even aware what is happening daudta ye hai जाओ जाओ बाहर नहीं नहीं आप ही का पर फेंको बाहर पहले देन दिस महात्मा आस्क विल यू आस्क लुकिंग एट दैट द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन किसका होगा कब का होगा क्या खाया होगा कितना क्वांटिटी लग गया होगा दिस बात महात्मा सेट देन इन तेलुगु बेन वॉज टॉकिंग ना As you were reacting, we were also reacting. That was like, ah, ah, what are you talking about? Stupid questions, is it not? First, get it off it. Ye phaila vasana kahan se aaya? Already are suffering from vasanas. Useless fellows, he used to cold everybody. Get it off this. So don't inquire. ये कहाँ से आया अविद्या के कारण ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ आई देन आई इज अविद्या डोंट डॉक ऑल दिस थिंग्स गेट इट ऑफ इट अदर उन्हें वासना स्मेल ऑल्सो वासना ऑन ले हल्डी वी आर बदबू आ रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ वासना हमको लगता नहीं होगा दूसरों को लगता है हमारे वजह से अहंकार कृतम बंधम आत्मनोर्थ विपर्य विद्वान्द्य संसार चिंता तुर्ये स्थित स्थित चेत अहंकार कृतम बंधम आत्मनोर्थ विपर्य विद्वान्द्य संसार चिंता तुर्ये स्थित संसार चिंता इज वन वर्ड वी शुड नॉट स्प्लिट लाइक दैट डजेंट मैटर निर्वा विद्वा निर्विद्य संसार चिंता तुर्ये स्थित विद्वा दे फोर अहंकार कृतम बंधम आत्मन ऑफ द वन सेल्फ बंधम इज क्रिएटेड बै अहंकार कृतम बंधम आत्मन कृतम बंधम अहंकार कृतम बंधम आत्मन अर्थ विपर्य मीनिंग इट इज विपर्य वेरी वेरी कैलामिटस वेरी वेरी प्रॉब्लमेटिक दिस दिस अहंकार द बॉन्डेज क्रिएटेड बाय अहंकार इज एक्सट्रीमली ट्रबलसम एवरी द ईगो कम्स वी प्रोटेस्ट रिएक्ट ऑल ऑफ अस None of us are exception to it. 
we get carried away by it we are not aware ahankara krutam bandham atmano artha viparyayam so vidwan vidwan nirvidya means the wise man ha he becomes dispassion nirvedata nirvidya nirvidya means he developed dispassion towards it what ahankara this i i i am hurt i am problematic this is they are telling me like that they are troubling me like that they are i know this, as long as you keep ahankara and satis want to satisfy ahankara we can never be happy just withdraw this is the nature of the world tell me christ was crucified krishna was called as thief uh, buddha was criticized buddha was challenged by many people vivekananda was challenged gurudev was challenged some people were abused some people were killed now which avatar was spared tell me by so called human beings Hmm? so self definitely ha huh? their wo- their world is so big whole world is their world so whole world tortured them our world is our family our family members torture us wonderful equation doesn't it good no fine it's fine it's okay accept it why my world tortures me think there one great master i'll take five ten minutes more extra today and i'll speak to you something about it hmm. now a great master because these things extra remembrances in between if i tell i need time and somebody tells me for prod prods me to tell you this somebody now i said theek i'll tell you i'll tell them some master has prod me so the great master told a type of meditation says you sit and see your master buddha or krishna or whatever it is your guru on in higher pedestal in front of you seated there now you are go there and offer mentally offer some gifts meaning incense flowers or some tea or some sweet or fruit something you offer then come back sit on a cushion asan look at your guru he seated before you now he says look at right side like palace you know all right side you see all the rishis enlightened masters higher beings are seated there see all of them mentally and left side you see all those people who are torturing you those are all standing sitting there those who are causing you trouble sitting there and see all of them as your teachers who are teaching you patience who are teaching you some kind of you know understanding humility they are actually challenging your ego and killing your ego so see all of them left side they are all sitting there right side on one side these great mahatmas are there and in between your guru is sitting there close your eyes and meditate accept this to both these mahatmas of the higher beings enlightened beings rishis great gurus left side all those people who are really troubling troubling me in life by their words by their actions all the people so many are there those who doubt those who torture us those who suspend suspect those who prick those who utter false things towards us those who, so many things troubling troubling all left side people and meditate accept when you accepting these people as one side accept that also that's life and who is teaching this guru is teaching that look here one side this kind of people one side this kind of people 
both accept it both are helping you in your evolution and meditate is it so thank each one of them left side also why thanking you you are teaching me humility you are teaching me patience you are actually challenging me my arrogance is being uh, you are challenging my arrogance thank you very much for challenging my arrogance it should not be there you are challenging my ego thank you very much my ego otherwise is very boisterous thank you left side right side between guru guru says these two are there i am teaching you this accept this accept that hum kya kehte hain ye humse aise keh raha hai wo humse aise wife is troubling me husband is troubling me children are troubling me neighbor are troubling me and then this is trouble actually who is troubling the mind that we don't understand our own mind is troubling so many people come samajhe so i don't do anything but yet this father in law criticizes me mother in law uh, this one said what should i do that is life and another important great master same master said that whatever you see in life experience feel sense smell hear taste touch etc come across anything nothing but your karma in that form it is you you are seeing yourself there is nobody outside there there is nobody outside there other than my karma in the form of a wife husband children neighbor parents country society boss subordinates friends challengers workers everybody so today you are my karma and i am your karma other than your karma there is nothing around me we don't understand this we think that this is not my karma somebody is doing something to me this is my karma i want to be good this is not happening that is not happening this is struggle that is tr- krishna says ahankar krutam bandham atmanah arth viparyayam calamitous it is what should we do vidwan becomes passion in dispassionate nirvidya this is not samsara then what is happening samsara chintam turye sthitah chajet remaining in fourth state of consciousness samsara chinta there, there is no please do not samsar ko sudharne ka prayas kabhi mat karna abde our great master used to say one of the teachers used to say those who came to save the world they were shaved off and a great mahatma great mahatma great guru he is no more great mahatma he used to say bhagwan took 10 incarnations who won at the end in the battle mankind battle lost all 10 incarnations sudhara nahi koi bhi na itne sare powerful incarnations have come to teach us no today we think that you know oh we are hum to sudhar gaye koi nahi sudharte nahi we were in that same condition of many people who are in today we were like that some years back some lives back adamant arrogant trouble makers in society we were all there like that oh hum acche hai sare bure hai ha ha hum bhi the aise hi hum dekho hum sudhar gaye gyan ke dwara no maar kha ke sudhara Oh, we got knowledge there for Sudar Gaya. Nah, knowledge baad mein aaya. Pahle maar khaya na. Maar ghaane ke baad hi gyan ke baad aaya. Aisa nahi ki mara gyan mil gaya, Sudar Gaya. Ay, don't lie like that. Durvara, samsara, dhavagni taptam, dodhu yamanam, durudusht. Dhulai, dhulai, samsara. 
वी वर लाइक दैट हम बड़े बड़े बातें करते हैं हो शीट नॉट बी लाइक दैट ये शीट नॉट हाउ पीपल अरे शर्म नहीं आते बोलने के लिए वॉट वर वी अबाउट हंड्रेड लाइफ बैक पर हैप्स वॉट वर वी वी वर इन सेम कंडीशन अब मे बी पर हैप्स वर्स देन दैट so holier than the attitude oh oh the biggest problem is another glamour that we carry oh i am a seeker of truth i am a puja karta hu paath karta hu jap karta hu dhyan karta hu seva karta hu ye karta hu wo karta hu i am so good so beautiful oh, oh, oh. but oh, about whom all you are we are complaining today remember we were like that sometime back there was more pause probabilities that we were like that why we had learned our mistakes and learned lessons and came here why when we were there somebody pulled us out is it not so therefore today also as gurudev says uh, your responsibility to pass on this knowledge and kindle others don't be selfish oh life he taught oh life he gave this education don't be selfish you gain inspired go talk to people have study class share knowledge don't be don't do not none of us do hum sunte hain ghar jaate hain bahut badhiya hai khana kha liya so gaya what is our commitment to society if somebody is pulling us today we are like the because of gurudev so he pulled us so what is our duty towards society so if you so we don't have to do all these things so if really we understand what is the truth so bhagwan krishna first give up all these things turiya sitah tyajet seated in that turiya sthiti renounce everything don't get renounce means jo ho raha ho raha hai don't get it straight yeah aisa hi hai this is very important and this world is like that you can maybe influence some individuals but depending upon your evolutionary status like gurudev a great master they influenced lakhs of people we can influence at least our people no around but people our our people around us become enemies for us we can't influence <sighs> therefore what we should do is bhagwan krishna says develop this passion don't complain this is the world like this samsara is bandhanam you renounce and establish yourself in your own self that way by your mere existence you can support many people you can inspire many people sarado jupate of course of course it's like you know, the moment you will the path appears happens path is created before you when the will is pure bija is there then it takes time to create that around around you not immediately doesn't happen hold that intention and slowly the clouds change around you world around you so i change the world around you will around me will change when you change the world around you will change hmm. therefore yavannanartha deepum saha nanivarte ta yukti bihi जागरण यावत एज लॉन्ग एज नाथधी पुंस न निवर्तते नाना युक्ति नाथधी न निवर्तते निवर्तेत एज लॉन्ग एज ए पर्सन 
ha is not able to eliminate remove dissolve with logical thinking yukti bhi by reasoning by logic and reasoning what nanarthadhihi meaning this kind of pluralistic vision nana buddhi dhimi buddhi nanatva buddhi this is different that is different this is different that is different this i want this i don't want and the struggle you know nanatva buddhi i am different from this i i am different from religion caste creed this is different that is different that is different this is different i belong to no, no. they are like this can this nanatva buddhi always you know he is um, she is troubling me he is troubling me he is good he is she is good and that is not we are actually in the field of nanatva buddhi <sighs> so whole life is a struggle from where running away from those who are troubling you towards those who want to who help you but the tragedy is those whom you think they help you they will be the trouble makers for you trouble givers and you feel that from whom you have run away they may be helping me again you come back here this is a tragedy of life so running away from all sorrows and running towards the joys and those joys themselves will become turn into great sorrows in future then again from there baba maine galti kiya wahan se fir daudo are baba maine abhi bhi galti kiya fir wahan se yahan daudo is it not happening what we considered joy today and ran towards that joy that joy becomes a great source of pain for me mm. that's called i diverse i have not only marriage diverse i want a diverse from many things in life i don't want diverse from house diverse from city diverse from company diverse from people around diverse from the flat environment we want, we don't want many things we constantly move we search for joy Ba, 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 ba. joy searching for joy wo nanatv buddhi main to pahad ke upar baithunga aaram se milega one of our one of our mission members in amritsar president is talking uh, one of our our uh, सीनियर स्वामी इज वेंट देर टू अमृतसर तो उन्होंने पूछा स्वामी जी से हम गोल्डन टेम्पल जाके आएंगे तो स्वामी वॉट इज देयर यास खड़ी वहाँ कहाँ वहाँ क्या है यास खड़ी से सीनियर स्वामी सो बोल रहे थे हमको स्वामी जी वेन इज सेट वहाँ क्या है मैं चुप हो गया गोल्डन अमृतसर गोल्डन टेंपल लेके जाएंगे आपको वहां क्या है मैं चुप बात नहीं किया दोबारा वहां क्या है देन सेस युक्ति भी ही बाई बाई अप्लाइंग रीजन एंड लॉजिक यू शुड एलिमिनेट दिस लाइक एटीन चैप्टर भगवत गीता सात्विक दृष्टि राजसिक दृष्टि तामसिक दृष्टि सो बाय इंक्वा इन चांदो के विषय ऑल्सो कम्स अल्टीमेटली एवरीथिंग इज ओंकार मयम इट्स द बेस्ट ऑफ इट विल प्रूव और अदर वी कैन से दैट एवरीथिंग इज फॉर एग्जांपल ऑल द नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स और मनुष्यास अध्यस्त रूट सीटेड इन व्हाट पंच महाभूतास पंच महाभूतास वेयर हैव दे कम फ्रॉम हिरण्यगर्भ वेयर इज हिरण्यगर्भ हैज कम फ्रॉम अव्यक्त प्रकृति वेर इज अव्यक्त प्रकृति इट इज ओनली संकल्प इन ईश्वर देर फॉर वॉट आर वी एट इज ओनली संकल्प ए थॉट इन ईश्वर दट्स इट दट इज अनाथ ऑल डिविजन विथड्रॉन एंड अराइव एट संकल्प ऑफ ईश्वर इट्स ऑल इन इज माइंड इट्स इज इन इज थॉट एंटायर जगत इज एक्सिस्टिंग
सो दे फोर सच पर जागृति अभी स्वपन अज्ञ अज्ञ इग्नोरेंट पर्सन वाट जागृत अभी जागृति अभी स्वपन ईवन इज लाइक स्लीपिंग वैल वेकिंग स्लीपिंग वैल वेकिंग इज वेकिंग बट स्लीपिंग जस्ट एज स्वप्ने जागरण व्यथ जस्ट एज इन द ड्रीम हि फील्स ईज अवेक् In the dream, when you're dreaming, in the dream, which state you are in? Jagrata vasta. <laughs> you think you are in the Jagrata vasta, in the dream, but you are in dream. Similarly, we feel we are awake and awake in waking state. Actually, we are dreaming. We think we are in waking state, but we are actually in dream. हाँ? ये सारे स्वप्न नहीं है क्या सच है क्या सच है वॉट इज सच त्रिकाल अबाधित वस्तु इट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली चेंजिंग इज इट रियल यूर 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 थॉट्स आर चेंजिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर चेंजिंग रिलेशनशिप इज चेंजिंग यूर आइडियाज आर चेंजिंग नोशंस आर चेंजिंग कंक्लूजन्स आर चेंजिंग Experiences are changing. Nothing is Kshana Kshana Pratikshana Vidvam Samaraha. Every Kshana that and their Sushti destroyed and new Sushti emerged there. Like on the screen. Movie you are seeing. Continuity is a myth. Every microsecond a frame appears, disappears. Next frame appears, disappears. Meaning appearing and disappearing. I say what I am. Frame, each frame, sup, 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 constant changing. Pratikshana vidvam samanaha. Aapka saamne ho badalta rah raha hai. Aapka saamne it is being destroyed. Is it real? I am sapna only it is. It's a dream. So we have to awaken. So, this is how Bhagavan Krishna, Vishnu, says yavat nanartha dihi pumsa nane varte therefore this the the vision of multiplicity seeing many ness seeing divisions rajoguna as long as this is not withdrawn eliminated by our yukti by logic and reasoning we will not be happy we are caught up in samsara okay so more about it we will see tomorrow om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamadachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om sadgurunath maharaj ki jai